head. Oh, what happened? Oh, yes, that's right. That monster. Oh. Who on earth are you two? Hey, we rescued you and that's your way of saying thanks? Little did I know that these these days were into rescuing perfect strangers. You. My name is Kadalka, and this is Edward. Would you mind telling us how you ended up collapsed on this path? My name is James. Oh, James O'Flaherty. I've been searching for something, and it took me to the monastery. Little did I know that it become a breeding ground for demonic spirits. Then how did you get in here dressed like that? Through the main gate, of course. The caretakers welcomed me with open arms. That husband and wife team? And the food? Was there no poison in your food? What are you talking about? Are you out of your mind? Those caretakers tried to poison and kill us. That's not funny! I find it inappropriate for you to try to dupe an upstanding believer of the Christian faith. So nothing happened to you then? Of course not. Not until I encountered that monster. Yeah? And we're the ones who took care of that monster. Far be it from me to expect any words of gratitude from you. I see. And I can tell from your appearances that the power of your faith alone was not enough to smooth things out with that monster. It wasn't the kind of problem that faith alone could solve. Ugh. Plinth. It's broken now, but holy water ran from it until recently. But I've become distracted. Almighty God, please give me the strength to ward off these monsters. I can see that we've wasted our time here. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Kudelka. Just a minute. Although I'm under the protection of the Lord, it doesn't hurt to take precautionary measures. I think I'll go with you.
dark and depressing building. Even with the temple, you can't feel the presence of the Lord's light. I can't believe I've stepped foot in this place. Where all have gone, and all must go, to be the nothing that I was. They are born to life and living woe. Lord Byron, no. I am not an admirer of his. In the first place, his poetry is unrefined. And who gave you the right to judge the refinement of poetry? Poetry should delve into the depths of the souls of the faithful. And others. It should inspire the soul as to Alexander Pope or George Herbert. If they have the power to do away with these evil spirits, I'd choose anyone. Even that dear old carpenter's son. Blasphemous! <laughs> Pagan! How dare you utter such words of sin? To seek help from someone you've never met before is ridiculous, especially when people are dying from hunger every single day in London. Oh, they're all filthy anymore, little beggars that deserve to die. Heaven is... That doesn't sound like a demonic spirit to me. The noise is coming from that building over there. The poison didn't kill us, so now they're taking the fast and easy way now. Don't be ridiculous! Why don't you ask the bullets who's being ridiculous? You idiots! 